I'm Natalie McNeil, and you are watching She Takes on the World TV, your weekly dose of soaring inspiration and practical advice for your business and your life. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You run into somebody that you haven't seen in a while, and you ask them how they are, and they respond with, I'm so busy. Or maybe someone asks you how you've been doing, and your response to them is, I'm really busy. I was at a cafe and there was a mother and daughter in front of me in the lineup. And the mom ordered a latte and then the daughter ordered a kid's latte, which is made with chocolate milk instead of coffee. I thought their whole outing was really cute. And then they sat down at the table next to me. And as soon as they sat down, the mother took out her phone and started getting really absorbed by whatever it is she was doing on her phone. This continued for a little while as the little girl sat with her kid's latte and eventually she said, mommy, and the response she got was, shh, mommy's busy right now. At that point, their outing just didn't seem as cute anymore. We are living in a very fast paced world and I think we're all feeling the pressure, but something's gotta give and I have an antidote for your busyness. You have to recognize that everything in your schedule is something that you actually control. You always have a choice. You can choose not to respond to that email right away. You can choose to spend a few hours off of social media. You can choose to say no to that commitment that you're making that doesn't really align with your goals and values. You always have a choice and you have control over your own schedule. Next, you've got to drop the busy badge of honor. And I can be guilty of doing this too sometimes, but I'm really making a conscious effort to not engage in busy battles with other people. I feel like there's so many people out there who are just trying to busy one up each other all the time. I was out with a few friends the other week and one of them said, oh, I'm really, really tired because I had such a late night. And another one piped up and said, well, I bet it wasn't as bad as my night because I was up until 5 a.m. working, so I'm really tired. And instead of engaging in the busy battle, I decided instead to say, you know, I've been setting an alarm to actually go to bed so that I'm going into my bedroom earlier than I usually do. And I've been really having a divine eight hours of sleep every night and it has been magical to nourish myself in this way. And by saying that, instead of engaging in this busy battle or busting out my busy badge of honor, it completely changed the entire conversation. Most of us feel like we have a lot going on. This became very clear to me when I was having a conversation with my 76 year old aunt. She was telling me about her really busy week coming up because she had to leave her house three times that week. And I wanted to start to tell her how not busy her life is, but then I realized that we also need to stop judging each other's schedules and how we choose to spend our time. We have to just keep our side of the street clean and not worry about the dirt on someone else's side of the street. So my actionable for you this week is to shift your perspective when it comes to feeling busy. Remind yourself that everything that is in your calendar are things that you actually chose to put in that calendar. You always have a choice and you can remove some of those things from your calendar if you choose to, or you can proceed forward in a way that creates more time and space so that you don't feel like you're always in a pressure cooker. The second part of my actionable for you this week is to resist the temptation to bust out your busy badge of honor when somebody sets you off and starts talking about how busy 
their life is. I know it can be a challenging thing to do, but I think it's important that we stop engaging in these busy battles and start recognizing that that choice and that power is always in our control. If you liked this video, I would love for you to share it and subscribe here on YouTube. And for more soaring inspiration and practical advice, come on over and get my weekly updates at shetakesontheworld.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on She Takes on the World TV. They don't necessarily use all of them either. So I want to keep it really focused on what my team thinks are the three things that we absolutely can't live without.